anyway, before we... So I'm recording now, so I'm going to start talking about things. Um, so look at how fucking shiny this, this, this case is. Yeah, audience, look at how shiny this case is. Well, I'll take a picture of it and fucking post it in editing, because oh. I'm a genius. Oh, man, it doesn't have the free booster pack. No, 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 open it up, open it up, it still does, I already opened it. Yeah, yeah, we got these old-ass trading cards in, like, the best condition possible. They were wrapped up in this, like, like... Scissor Eye, Essence Elf, Marrow, Ooze the Twister, Rainbow Stone, Faunch the Oracle, Horrid Worm. (laughs) Wow, this thing lives up to its name, it's like a worm with a brain showing out. Huh. So like like those cards would have been sealed inside this like can like this can of food that would survive in the apocalypse and people would wonder about the duel masters. I can't believe that still came with it. Yeah, like it's still like in order like I probably can't buy these anywhere anymore. And in order to get like no. a full deck, I'm just going to have to buy like a shitload of new copies of limited edition duel masters for PS2. Well, Here's the thing, though. From what I heard, Duel Masters actually does have somewhat of a presence in Japan still. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna, like, look up, like... Uh, I think it's, like, called Kaijudo or something? Kaijudo. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Alright. So I don't play card games ever, so let's do this. All this great profile. Alright. So... <laughs> All right, I haven't thought about this. What should the profile name be? Here, let me... Let well, me. you got an idea? You have a good, clever idea? That will make everyone in the audience scratch their chin with intrigue? Uh. <laughs> God damn it, I already know what you're gonna spell. <laughs> just Yu-Gi? I thought you could just say Yu-Gi-Oh! The... No, no. No, just Yu-Gi-Oh! The trading card game. No, Yu-Gi-Oh! is the name of the series. I, I, Yu-Gi <laughs> is the protagonist. I know, but it would have been funny if just you called the character Yu-Gi-Oh! Or if you just called the character One Piece. I don't know. Something else done by four kids. Tokyo Mew Mew. Should I do tutorials first, or should I just jump right in there? Uh, let's just go. Let's just go. Alright, we're going! New game! Who's this lady? Oh, the gods are fighting. The Egyptian gods are fighting for control of the dual monster's license. Don't do this. <laughs> oh no! Fortune favors the this looks like it was made in. It looks like it was made in like Flash or something. Yeah. Was this Newgrounds game? Okay, I need to check if I can get some subtitles in here. Where are you? I, I can't take like the art style seriously. Like it's just like it just still frames his mouths moving, and occasionally there will be another moving thing, you know, like that yeah. gear on that guy's shirt. Oh, his head moved. This really looks like it was made and like Newgrounds or something. Yeah. And that's not bad, but... Like, like I expected to just flat out see the animation from the show, and I feel like this is not it. No. Did you ever see like previews of the show or anything? I watched one clip where it showed like how much of a gag dub it was. Hmm. It, was the animation like this at all? No. Okay. No, it was like actual no, anime. I mean, you play it too safe. This is like Americans trying to make anime. So some cop monsters were just unleashed upon the world. So now this hero is going to go into this elementary school classroom to recruit soldiers of duel. Find me five teenagers with attitudes. Yeah. Like I could have done it earlier. Fire, water, nature. Light and darkness calls out to one of you. Huh. This is why I've gathered. I wonder which one calls out to which. You will learn to strengthen this bond. <laughs> There's the dark. He it. even has the dark symbol on his shirt. Yeah. Like that's just, like you mean like the symbol just for that element? Yeah. Because I missed that earlier. They all have the symbol on them. The best. Of the best. Cool. You will progress as individuals, but a group's true strength lies in working together. <laughs> Fuck that. Duels are one on one, aren't they? Your skills, Don't worry, I'll again. help you. Isn't that cheating? No, it's for the protagonist. So it's not cheating. Cool. I feel like 
Okay, so the girl is, uh, you know, the water... Oh, I can choose my protagonist. Okay. So also, I thought these were elementary school kids. Fifteen. And I think... Oh, oh wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this kid <laughs> doing in this class full of, like, 15-year-olds? And, like, this guy is fucking, like, 30. He should be 30. It's... <sighs> <laughs> Flynn, the dark one. We have Luke, the light one. We have uh, Rusty, the fire one. We have Trey, the nature man. We got Rebe Rebecca. I thought it was good, like Rebellia or something. Of water. Yeah. I feel like just because of Pokemon, this like this happens. I don't know. I don't <laughs> like know. Like Misty's a water type. Girls love water. That I seems don't know. to be a thing. Like well, it's more than that, because Pokemon, yeah, Misty was the water trainer, but Bionicle, like, all the water people are female. Oh, yeah, that was a thing. And in... Was it, like, uh, the only female in Bionicle? Uh, they added other elements later, but that was, like, background stuff. Okay. And none of them really appeared in the story. And then, uh, in, like, Avatar, like, Katara was the water character. Yeah. I don't know, it's just, like, something about water and girls. I, I guess water represents elegance and calmness of ladies, because women are calm all the time. So that's why there's also, <laughs> like, tsunamis and, tor and yeah. hurricanes. Water is something that seems calm, but beneath the surface it's... Like, remember that scene in So the a, ocean's a tsundere. Yeah, it's a tsunami dere. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, so, who, which one? Uh, I'm trying to, like, I feel like playing as the kid, like, we can make fun of them the most, but at the same time, I just want to, like, I want this the, guy looks cool. I, I'm voting for the Edgelord. You want to play as the Edgelord? Yes. Alright, let's do Edgelord. Oh man, the back of his shirt, of his, of his shirt is, is the bones of his dead mother. <laughs> Alright, let's go. We'll play as Dark Man. Uh, Shadow Man. Shadow Man. Ooh, they're playing the Edge music. He's edgily shopping oh, for is food. is he gonna steal from this to- oh. Oh, he's an- oh, huh. He's wearing a smiley face and- Oh, no, he works at Walmart. Oh, no. What a horrible job to have. Flynn, over here. Do you hear what he said? Do I know you? Something about you. over here. I have information that you need to know. About what? The upcoming tournament. There's more at stake than just cards. You and your friends are in danger. Danger? From what? It's not what. It's who. The Widow. Flynn! Quit standing around and get back to work! We'll talk again soon. Whoa, that man has psychic powers. I'm glad. They even have pallets in this store. Yeah, it reminds you of the real life, huh? Uh, this game's too- Oh, look at this cool loading screen! When look can, at that! When can we get that card? Like, we have this shitty animation, like, this okay animation, I guess, and then we have, like, this gorilla guy with, like, the bones of his- of the people he's eaten or something. I think those are, like, bamboo sticks. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's- yeah, that's probably what they are. Flynn, over here. Aren't you? We talked at the store. Who's Widow? And what do you mean about my friends being in danger? Widow's my employer. And you and your friends are in danger because you stand in her way. Is that a threat? No, it's a warning. I work for the widow. I think a threat and warning are synonymous with each other. It would have been better if he said, outside. it's a promise. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Widow just sent Caitlin to the tournament hall to steal some important tournament paperwork. I'm going to swap in some false records for Caitlin to find. So I need you to distract her. Uh... She'll be pretty focused on finishing her mission, so you'll have to provoke her into a duel. She flies off the handle pretty easily. Wait, so Try is this guy a double agent? I don't know. Okay. Like, like you're talking about our character? No, no, the, the green guy. Because he's helping us. Yeah. Duel people to raise her reputation. <laughs> I think, I think <laughs> in real life it would decrease her reputation. I don't know. All right. No, no, we're, we're, we're going by, like, card game world rules. All right, all right, okay, let's see if there's subtitles or- Oh, sh sh went too far. Um, extreme, extreme mode. Uh, oh no. No, don't tell me this doesn't have subtitles. Oh. 
Lord. Okay, so there's music and then there's sound effects. I don't know what these cinemas are. I'm assuming. I wish that was just voice uh, acting or something. Yeah, it looks like uh, cutscenes. Sound effects is just like when you play a card and it's like. Yeah. So I'll move lower this so we can hear the dialogue better. Yeah. And I think we'll be good. But oh man, there's no subtitles. Yeah. All right. Creature card. I have nine cards. Only nine? I guess so. Oh god. Let's just go with default. Yeah. We'll figure it out as we duel. Alright, so they told me to duel someone in order to distract them. Huh. Okay, quest screen. Head over to the tournament hall and distract Caitlyn. Okay. Let's do some regular dueling first. Let's get not head straight into it. Get the hang it. of it. Yeah. Let's duel this guy named Bruce. Are we gonna grunt or are we gonna play? Are we gonna what? Are we gonna talk or are we gonna play, I think? Okay. Let's duel. It's time to b -b 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 battle. <laughs> time to b -b monster duel with monsters. These loading screens are really cool. <laughs> like, like, look at this monster. It's just a cannon with legs. No, no. Did you see the body? That cannon's the head. Oh, and really? There's like a little body attached to it. Hmm. All right. So supposedly by default, it's uh, it's a uh, turn base, so we can take our time. Um. I say bloody mosquito. Yeah, the big numbers look good. Add to my- oh fuck, we should've gone through the tutorial. Okay, summon. You need darkness mana. Okay, um... Wait uh, a minute, if I convert these two to mana, I can summon bloody mosquito. But wait, I need darkness mana, I just gave myself nature mana. And I just did that really it's fast. Fine. All right, end my turn. Blocker, can't attack, on battle, destroyed. Huh? Okay, so it's a one-time shield, I guess. Okay, so that's an emergency, if I can... I need more mana. Uh, try the that guy. I'll convert him to mana, or some, yeah, okay. Huh, so this is how this game works. You gotta build up your abilities. Yay! But this is not an attacker, just a shield. Alright. Alright, end my turn. Well, we bought ourselves some time. Yeah. And besides, I think, uh... Oh, fuck! What? Did you see that? Oh, what? Yeah, he's gonna return me! What an asshole! So, Wait a minute, so the yellow is what I have and the bottom one is what I need? Looks like it. Okay. Try Skeleton Soldier. Okay, that makes sense. Soldier. Da 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 Skeleton soldier. So from what I can tell, it's like Magic the Gathering where we build up how much of the meter we have and it's reset every turn. Okay. Alright, anyway, how the fuck do I attack? Attack the player. Alright. Wait, what 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 happened? All right, we got cutscene. Is that gonna happen every single time? So my character's now asleep. Maybe that means he's already attacked, and he can't attack again. Okay, that probably makes sense. Anyway, so Mike, so he just moved to the right, and then like, I guess the blocker didn't work. No, no, the blocker. Um, I don't know. Oh, well, let's just keep going. Alright, I'll get a blocker out since I can. And attack that, uh... See, it just says attack player. It doesn't say attack the blockers. Really? Yeah. So I guess I'll just do it since I have them out. Oh, select a blocker. Oh, they were selecting a blocker, and they didn't, I guess, the t turn I attacked. Because I guess that blocker okay, would have died. Okay, so this is also like Magic the Gathering, where they can choose who defends. Okay. And because I didn't have that attack boost, I'm gone. Okay, okay. I kind of like learning as we're doing better than what the tutorial could have done. That probably would have been really boring. Even though it would have helped us. I'll summon this thing then. And then I'll give everyone plus 2,000 attack. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Only one of them can attack. Remember. 
Yeah, but okay, I guess I'll save it. To I can't, like, if I do this now, I can take down one of his shields for sure. But uh, I guess if I wait, the bone attacker could take out someone, and maybe bone attacker will be better than as a defense. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so my multiple attackers aren't so good because they can't defend. I'd blockers are the only ones who can defend. Huh. But now you can use that one to power up all your guys and have them attack at once. All right. Yeah. Oh, what, what, what happened? Okay, okay, it's my turn. It's my turn. Okay, um, so what do you have? So wait. Yeah. Your creatures. Okay, all of them. All right. Uh. Nah. Uh, yeah. But that will. Okay, so he has three thousand right now, and he gets a boost. But a bark whip there. Okay, can't block. So that means I can just go for the player, and they'll yeah. like choose a blocker, and the blocker will fail. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you're you're done, Mister. Whatever your name was, Bruce. I'll remember you, Bruce, as the first guy who got owned. You were a stepping block on my journey to pure edge. I think I'm gonna lose this duel. <laughs> maybe we should have checked up on the rules, but maybe we should have checked. Maybe we should have. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm gonna get killed. So the next, no, if I no, survive this, no, don't worry, don't worry. I have a plan. I have, all I have to do is survive this. Yes. And like, ha and just have to go all out. Yes, because, and this is important, you can, as long as you aren't attacked while you don't have shields, you're still in the game. Oh, so that's the fatal attack. Yes. So I need to, like, oh, fuck me. Don't worry, don't this worry. This is gonna be close. He doesn't have anyone else who can attack. I have no shields. Wait a minute, what's that? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh! Don't worry. Oh, wait. No, worry. Yeah. Oh. Uh, no. No. Uh, Lost Soul, what does that do? Discards and Your opponent discards entire hand. Yeah, that's a... Like, that takes all my mana. Fuck. Uh, what else you got? What's this? Ultimate Force. Uh, what what's it do first? What's it ah. do? What's it do? It, uh, top two cards in the deck become mana. Ah. So, what's this gamble? That I have to make. Well, I was hoping he wouldn't send one of your guys back to the hand because the entire strategy revolved around that. Yeah. You you've lost. No, no way. I can clutch it out. You, you can't. You, I'm gonna clutch it out you, right now. You can't w win. Golden wing. Have four thousand attack against. All right, we have we have we have that this this asshole. We have, uh... <laughs> Get, attack the 3,000 guy. 3,000 guy? Yes. Okay. Oh, fuck me! You've, you've lost. Just, just quit. Is there any way to quit? No. You, you've lost. The battles, we learned from our mistakes, which are failed battles. I'd rather lose than win because I learn more. Uh, dash Mike Tyson. Just, just end it quick. No! I'll skip the cutscenes. Like, this is why I kind of told you not to attack with that guy and just I, skip I thought it, it and would wait. work. I didn't think he did. You didn't know that he would return one of my cards. Yeah, but you didn't listen you to didn't me. You didn't know. Yeah, but guess what? You didn't know that. All right. Well, you now, have well, now how we it know. Up. Now we know, so let's re-challenge him. It's good to say you should have done the other thing when you know what the consequence is for doing a thing that's already done. Yeah, but this is different from that because I told you to just skip it. Yeah, but you didn't you did know. <laughs> you didn't win. You didn't know. <laughs> can, can I Can I do the next game? <laughs> Fine. Or you can learn to play. I learned from the fucking pits of hell. <laughs> Cause I'm a dark man. Oh, I'm been. just gonna duel this jobber and kill him. <laughs> These choppers are pretty fucking tough so far. Yeah, I wonder whose fault that is. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not mine. It's never my fault. I know card games like the back of my hand. 
Oh, hey, according to the back of the um, manual, <laughs> yeah. you can register at DuelMasters.com on the Atari website. Here's something I'll do while you're dueling. This is a cool um, stage, by the way. I'm going to look up DuelMasters.com and see if it's like porn now. <laughs> Here, can you give me the back, hand me the back of that uh, instruction manual? Invalid host name. Yeah! Alright, um, uh, Atari. There's another link, though. Atari.com slash Duel Masters. Do you know that the Space Jam website is still up? Yes. Yeah. Isn't that nuts? Yes. Yeah, invalid host name for that, too. Yeah, it's gone. It's dead. In America, mm. at least. Alright, got rid of one of his, uh, blockers. He's four blockers. Man. This is rough. Maybe we should do the story thing because it's easy. Because it's probably easier. Hold on. Probably get Hold cards. on. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I have faith in you. You're better at card games than me. Yes. Oh, just kill someone. Yes. Yeah. Let's eliminate the five thousand motherfucker. Yeah. You're one, dead. Yeah. You die. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Eat it, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm an edgelord. I'm the least nerdy of this Duel Masters cast. Why does he have so many of these spiders? That's a strategy. This is, like, this is a character, this is an NPC, I think, created just to teach you how to deal with this. At, at, at the most severe level. Like, you, this is training you right now. Hmm. I guess so. Yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> you just... Ooh. Ooh. I... I'm gonna kill this guy. <laughs> Hold on. I, I, I'm trying to, like, kill that guy. The 5,000 one? Or, well... Hmm. well Speak to me. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to do something. Alright. I'm trying to kill as many of his guys as I can. Oh, fuck. What? Oh, God. How? What? Man, you got... You got wrecked. Man, I want to see how the duels in this show work. Like, how it works, like, cinematic-wise. Yeah. Like, what do they do when they convert the mana? Do they go, I use my pot of greed to get two mana. You know what that means. I get two mana from this pot of greed card. Uh. I figure one is young Yugi you going, You know what that means! It means I draw two cards from my deck. I feel like you should forfeit this duel. I mean, look at what his side. No, no, at. you didn't forfeit. So okay, I'm listen, not gonna forfeit. But listen, listen. Look at his side, and then look at your side. You and ask, didn't forfeit. And ask, so I'm yeah, not gonna forfeit. Yeah, but my chances forfeit. were better than this. No, they were. Oh yes, they were. I got most of his health down, and he only had like three monsters on the field at a time. <laughs> or like just. He didn't have, like, he, uh, my, my opponent didn't bust out a 9,000 okay, curb stop machine. Yelling. Quit yelling. I'm going to yell. I'm going to edit this soon and have a horrible time with it. But it'll be worth it because I get to voice my emotions. Okay, I hate you. <laughs> How about we just go with the story? It's probably easier. Eh, maybe we should edit the deck. Maybe. We probably have a whole lot more cards than we realize. Let's make our deck nothing but blockers and see if we can make a robot cry. <laughs> uh, so who was like, yeah, quest screen, and then, yeah, Caitlyn. Hey, Caitlyn, let's duel. I'm busy. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow! Wait, what they Caitlin, it's okay. I don't think any less of you for running away from this duel. <laughs> Is it right basically now. just using the you ch sure? your chicken? I mean, I yeah, pretty much. Now. Did you just cluck at me? Yep, like a chicken. We're probably gonna. Oh, look at this fucking monster! <laughs> we're probably gonna lose super hard. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, this Sundere. <laughs> Man, I would never be intimidated by this Edge Lord because he's 15 and he sounds like he's five. Death smoke. Was that? Dude? Doesn't that just kill someone? Oh yeah. Yeah, it has to be untapped though. Yeah, but that's not tapped. It's tapped. Ah. This duel's really is like this is does this duel feel easier, I guess, yes. than the other one? Okay. Since 
So she's not busting out five shields at a time. <laughs> yeah. Man, I hate that guy so much. What's his name? Like Patrick? Yes. <laughs> and he's a short, red-haired guy. <laughs> in a green shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no mercy. Death smoke is a strong spell. Now attack the person... Attack his, her life points directly! Man, it always freaked me out in uh, the, the like the second season of Yu-Gi-Oh! Where like it would just like the monsters look like they're physically harming the duelists and they get blown back. That was just for dramatic effect, but yeah. Yeah. Oh man, look at your character. He's like, yeah. Uh, Ooh, you get to choose whatever you could choose which which uh, card you at steal the end from of her. Your... You Flynn? Yeah. Word is, you've got quite the talent. Want a duel? Sure. I won one out of three duels. You got quite the talent. You have 850 reputation, so yeah. That's a good reputation system. How much reputation do you think we have in real life? Two. Two reputation? Well, I have 50 subscribers. Shouldn't that be like 50 plus? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, fuck you. <laughs> 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 You see the um, uh, crime time video on the uh, APB? No, not yet. Oh, dude, they, they get the best MMO related quest ever. Because it's the stupidest thing ever. It involves them killing a lot of cops for a really dumb reason. <laughs> Isn't that always the best reason? For the, like, the dumbest reason ever? To kill cops? Where are we going with this? No, it's like, you do this thing, but it's for the dumbest reason ever. Like, like, I guess, like, it is, like, amusing where it's, like, you do something really, like, in order to achieve something, like, it's, like, in order to achieve something really trivial, you have to murder a lot of people. Like, like, in order to spend five dollars on this amazing ice cream. You have to, like, kill your family as a blood sacrifice or something. <laughs> <laughs> so that you can summon five dollars. I'm curious to see- so, you saw clips of this. Like, do they summon, like, holographic monsters on the field? Well, okay. I don't know, because it was a small clip. Baldios! But it seemed like they were all really surprised that the monsters showed up. Okay. All right. What card do you want to steal from him? Uh. When you want to live in a world like this, where like duels kind of dictate everything. Maybe it was like <laughs> and a you can steal apocalyptic world. But like, yeah. But then like, but if we're talking like realism terms, and they can just pull out a gun and shoot you. No, 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 no. <laughs> My, my, my ideal world is like a post-apocalypse where there's no more guns and everything's decided by Duel Monsters games. Hmm. Like just that type of card game. Yeah. Hmm. And like you, you have to like give, give someone your card. Oh, there's a card shop. Uh, yeah, you, you have to give someone your card if you lose. And they get to choose from your deck. Yeah. You know, I just realized... This game has, like, almost the exact same, like, colors for the tribes as Magic the Gathering 2. The tribes? Or whatever the factions are. It's like... L let me just... Let me just show you. Okay, there's, like, green, blue, black, oh, yellow, yeah. and uh, red. Those are the exact same as Magic. Okay, okay. This is what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna search up both of these card games. I'm gonna see which came first. Most likely magic. I... I'm not entirely sure myself, I guess. Alright, so magic... The Gathering. Okay, 1993 for Magic the Gathering. I'm pretty sure that's before this. Okay, let's go Duel Masters. Because they wouldn't wait until, like, the early... Because it's not like they would make it in the 80s and then wait until the early 2000s to, like, you know, make an anime. Like, that just doesn't make sense. Yeah. All right, Duel Masters. Duel Masters is 
Okay, 1999. So yeah, Magic came first. That's... Man, that's weird to me. <laughs> and, I, and I can't, like, maybe I find it weird that... Like, I don't know exactly why, but maybe it's because, like, I feel like... I would have expected the West to, like, be inspired by stuff from Japan more than... Like, I guess... Hmm. Like, Magic the Gathering really is a famous card game series. Yeah. I guess it only makes sense that something would be kind of inspired by it. Kids, if you're ever if you're a creator and they're and they offer you royalties, you take the royalties. There is actually, cause that's like a, that's a choice between plus something and plus nothing. There's no reason to to not get royalties. Yeah, you want to take over? Uh, sure. I guess I haven't dueled in a bit. What's the next quest? The dark. <laughs> 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 the, the darkness what? monk that just strikes a chord with me with, with us for some, like the dark the darkness monk sounds stupid I guess like <laughs> the darkness monk like I guess just because we're playing as an edge lord our next quest to see the darkness monk just like makes so much sense. Darkness Monk was probably that guy we were talking to earlier, I yeah. think. Yeah, and we just didn't hear him say, I'm the Darkness Monk. <laughs> uh, uh. Alright, let's get one more cutscene, then let's end it here. Alright. Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's not the same person. Is that that kind of cute girl from earlier? No, no, that's the mentor guy. Oh, yeah. I remember him from that clip I saw. All right, let's let's lean in for this one, Brett. Let's see if we can actually hear it. I'll turn it up like a notch or two. Ah, here he is. Guy looks so dark. Feels that there is great potential within you. Will you duel me? Oh. Sure. What a cutscene. And now that you've lost, mind crush. <laughs> So does Mind Crush just murder people? Okay, so Mind Crush was just <laughs> invented by the anime because, from what I can see in the uh, from the manga, it, at before it was just a penalty game where if you cheated, uh, like a horrible fate would befall you. Like some guy thought that uh, leaves were money, so he was just like rolling around in the leaves, being all like, "Yeah, I'm rich, I'm rich." Is this just season zero? Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, what they originally got the mind crush from was Yugi, uh, like, shattered Kaiba's mind, and he had to, like, rebuild it in order to become whole again as a better person. Was, hmm. So was he, like, inside his own head rebuilding it or something? Yes. Okay. And then the real Kaiba is just like a vegetable being wheeled around. Hmm. You know, this game's actually pretty good so far, I guess. Yeah, for a card video game, it's good. Yeah, but I feel like... Like, I just have that... Maybe just because of the story and the voice acting, but I feel like this... Like, I feel like I found this at the bottom of the barrel. But some guy took it out of the barrel, like, every week, and cleaned it to make it look shiny, <laughs> the case look shiny, and to make sure that no one stole the booster pack that was inside. So, was that still have the foil around it? It, still, it had foil around it. It had, like, plastic stuff around it, yeah. Wow. Like, this is a clean new copy. So. I'm, I'm glad I bought this game, because I feel like this game's not going to exist in a couple of years. Yeah. And now, and yeah. As I thought, your skills, though untrained, show. I, I curb stomped you, motherfucker. <laughs> How, why is it we're doing so good against the bosses, but the jobbers are what we struggle against? Well. Like, what's, let's think about, like, what's the design philosophy behind making regular jobbers harder than the story? Let's think about that for a second. Bad design. No, no, no. Like, like what were the developers thinking? I or, let's watch this cutscene first. Uh, okay. There is a creature of great power, which Widow dragged into this world. Its card is split into nine pieces that have scattered throughout the town. You must seek these pieces out. Return to me once you have recovered the first three. <laughs> it just cut to this guy going, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want some? You want some of this? Come here, come here, come here. I got something to show you. All right, so yeah, so yeah. What is the design philosophy behind that, by the way? Bad. No, no like actually, the the regular 
players shouldn't be better than the bosses. Like, you rather than be, like, training or something? Yes. Yeah. But, okay, but, but still, what were they thinking? What were they thinking? I don't know. Like, maybe they were making it... Maybe they assumed the player would want to get involved in this engaging story immediately. Um, and thus, they just made them hard because so that it would be a challenge later. Uh, it's hard to say. Yeah. Like, there's also the thing where you can... Like, I think you could fight everyone, like, multiple times. And, um, uh... Like, if I go to the mall, we can probably see that we can fight these characters again. And that's... And they, they probably... Like, that one guy you fought, like, employs that heavy block strategy. Yeah. And maybe they're all designed to sort of, like, train you to deal with different things, I guess. But other than that, I don't know why they're... So, like, I guess the only reason I can think of as to why they're so difficult is because you're supposed to fight them much later. Even though the first screen of this game of gameplay is, Hey, look at these people who have cards that you can steal. Yeah. These juicy cards. Go, go, yeah, go after them. Go beat them up for them. Yeah, beat up these kids. This kid's I, probably I'm gonna, 20. I want to beat that guy up. <laughs> when I get, like, the equivalent of blue eyes in this world... <laughs> He will feel my wrath. You'll change the future. <laughs> Man, the... so t okay. One more thing. How did that? How did he? How did Kaiba change the future with blue eyes? <laughs> okay. How I, did he do from that? From what I can remember, and it's been a very long time since I saw the specific episode that wasn't Yu-Gi-Oh abridged. I think she had a trap card that would only have worked for Obelisk, and she saw the future that Kaiba would use Obelisk. So she's all like, haha, he's got it. But then Kaiba's all like, no, because Kaiba loves the Blue Eyes White Dragon so much, <laughs> he wants to use Blue Eyes to finish her off. Oh. And then she's all like, Kaiba Kun changed the future. Yeah. So when Kaiba like finished her off with his blue eyes, do you think he um uh, he went eat it nerd? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's probably like I am Kaiba. I'm better than you. Screw the rules. I have money and blue eyes. I'm actually the most powerful human in the world because of that. I I love that in the manga, um, he's all like, oh man, uh, did you know that? Uh, like, I'm trying to think of the specifics, like, oh yeah, Yugi, I got these Blue Eyes cards. I got them, like, super illegally. Like, some people committed suicide because of it. <laughs> what? <laughs> he just says this? Yes. You know what we should end this video on? Hmm? Attention all duelists. My company will be hosting a global competition. Anyone who thinks they've got what it takes can enter. Just create a design for a new card. Then mail your submission to the Kaiba Corporation. Winners will be handpicked by me. Then your cards will be launched into space on a Kaiba Corp satellite. Cause I figure, if there is intelligent life out there, then let's teach them how to duel. <laughs>